Um, Assembly Member Berry. Hi. Uh, so, Mr. Mayor, I want to ask um, more about the, the new fund for youth projects. Um, this is really good news. Um, I'm so pleased that since last year you've genuinely listened, you've looked at the evidence, you've been persuaded by myself and others, and you've, you've actually done this. Um, it's split over three years in your final budget, and that's what my amendment to the last budget meeting put forward. Um, and that's right, because youth organisations, they don't want short-term stop-start funding, so that's all great. Um, last year you told me that there isn't a, a money tree in City Hall that can replace what has been cut by the government, um, and there isn't, but you've put £45 million in, that will go some way. The la latest numbers I've got back from councils this year show this will plug about a third of the total amount that's been taken out of youth services since 2011. Um, so I think you've done what you can now. Um, the government will need to help too. Um, and uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you, which is not something we, we always do here. Um, actually, I want to ask you about the timing of the process. Um, I know a number of organisations who are basically ready to bid now for the fund, um, just dying to apply for any kind of funding. The group campaigning to reopen Grove Park Youth Club in Newsham, for example, um, are pretty much ready to go. But there will be other groups for whom it would be really useful to get an idea of the rules and the deadlines so they can focus on getting themselves ready to bid in, the, in the, the right time. So can you give us any idea of the timing today and the criteria and also which deputy mayor will be responsible for it? Sure. Well, Sean, thank you for saying what you said and the way you said it uh, and for the work you've done in this area. Uh, and I did re read your report last year uh, and you gave me a further copy this year uh, uh, as well. So, so to answer your question directly, uh, uh, we're working on the, on the processes now, um, but we don't want to make it bureaucratic or difficult. Uh, so you can start talking to our officers now, uh, uh, any youth club that wants to talk to our officers now about, about getting their, their, their bids in. Uh, what we're also going to be doing, Sean, is, 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 is this year in particular helping those groups who aren't used to feeling informed, don't know how to do it, mm. to make sure that they get some money this year, but get hopefully even more support next year, 1920. But we're going to give them something this year. Um, so uh, we don't want to just go to the usual suspects. There are some people who are brilliant and are good at filling in forms, uh, and we, we're not, we shouldn't, we shouldn't you know, denigrate that. There are others who have good ideas but don't really know how to do it. Mm. And so the team will be helping in relation to that. Uh, Deputy Mayor Matthew Ryder, um, working closely with Deputy Mayor Sophie Linden and uh, Joanne McCartney, uh, will be the three Deputy Mayors in charge of this area. Uh, because it, it affects, we're hoping the bid will be some cultural, so Justin will be involved, mm. some sports, some education, we even want schools bidding for some of this uh, money as well. Our schools clubs may need some supplementary support uh, as well. We don't want to be prescriptive, so it's a, it's a suck it and see. We're waiting for uh, applications and interest, and, and we don't, we don't want to be too inflexible about this. Okay, they'll be in touch, I'm sure. Thank you. Thank you.